Code Co-Occurrence Tools in Atlas TI 9 Mac. To access the Code Co-Occurrence Tools, select the Analysis menu. There are two tools available, the Explorer and the Code Co-Occurrence Table. Let's take a look at the Code Co-Occurrence Explorer first. To see all co-occurring codes, open the tree for codes. Then, select one of the codes and open the branch further. Here we see that those respondents who believe that children made them less happy mentioned only negative effects of parenting and a number of reasons to have and not to have children. Let's take a look at which codes co-occur with the code having children increases happiness. Here we see that a number of positive effects are mentioned, a reason for having a child, and relationships as a further source of happiness. As is already implied in the name, the Code Co-Occurrence Explorer can be used as an exploratory tool to see where possible co-occurrences are in your data. Based on this, you can take the analysis further and use the Code Co-Occurrence table. You may have noticed that there is a second main branch in this tool. By opening the Document branch, you can inspect which codes have been applied to each document. Before we move on to the Code Co-Occurrence table, let's take a short look at the data. The main body of the data consists of comments written by readers of a blog and a magazine article. There is a total of 138 responses by different people, and each response was also coded with sociodemographics if the information was available. Let's take a look at how these data can be analyzed using the Code Co-Occurrence table. We want to compare respondents with one child, two or more children, with regards to what they have written about positive and negative effects of parenting. Highlight all codes that you want to select, then press the spacebar. To remove all empty cells, click Compress in the toolbar. The cell values indicate the number of co-occurrences. When you click on a cell, you can read the quotations behind the numbers. There are two lists of quotations, those linked to the row code and those linked to the column code. Based on the research question you have in mind when running such a table, you will generally know which list you want to read or export. Click on the burger menu to export the quotations to Excel. To run another analysis, uncheck all selected codes and make a new selection. Here we examine how the number of children affects attitudes about whether or not children make parents happier. Next, we take a look at how these attitudes relate to positive and negative experiences of parenthood. This table is best viewed by reversing the rows and columns. Select Options and from there, Rows from Top Code List. We see a pattern emerging. The more children a person has, the more favorable is the attitude between having children and happiness, and the more positive effects of parenting are reported. This is also visualized by the Sankey diagram. A negative attitude is linked to negative effects of parenting a neutral attitude to a mix of positive and negative effects, and a positive attitude to positive effects. You can also access the quotations from the Sankey diagram by clicking on a link or on one of the nodes. After having explored various layers of relationships using the code co-occurrence tools, you can use the network function to push the analysis one step further. How this can be done is shown in our video on working with networks.